Hey guys, what's up? Shin055 back with another How to Draw video. Um, as you can tell from the title and the picture right here, uh, it's on Cosmo the Seedrin. Um, if you are, un she's a Sonic character. If you're unfamiliar with her, she's a Sonic like X only character. Uh, she's from the anime Sonic X, which um, I think she was in like the last season. Uh, she was in the Metarex saga, so I, I think that was the last season of the show. I could be wrong. It's been super long since I seen Sonic X. All I remember from that saga was Dark Super Sonic. I think that's all I, I need to remember from that. So, <laughs> anyway, um, yeah, so it's on Cosmo. Um, it, it's a little different from, like, the normal Cosmo. I saw a picture of when I was Google searching, and so it's a really cool pose, and she kind of looks like, um, a little bit of Knights. Like, I see a little bit of uh, Knights into Dreams in here. So, uh, yeah. Oh, and before I begin, this was requested by Brave Girl. 3311 AJ. Uh, thank you very much for your request, and I hope you enjoy the video. So that's that's pretty much it for intro, so let's just uh, jump into it. Alright okay, guys, let's draw. Okay, so to start off drawing Cosmo, you'd want to draw... Um, I'm going to paper down a little bit. Uh, you're going to want to draw just this big uh, circle. Um, this is going to be her head. She's a very, like, rounded head, so... Again, a nice round circle will start us off. Um, and then you can draw the uh, crosshairs for that face. Um, she's kind of looking at like a three quarters view, so draw a line like this. And then her head's kind of tilted up and she's looking down. So this crosshair would go angled up like this. And now we'll just get the gesture done for her body, which basically it starts off with a line that curves down like this. And then this will be where her foot is. And then this will be like her hips. And then her second leg will go here. And it's kind of curved up. And that'll be her second foot. And now this arm is going to just go straight down about here like that. And then her second hand is going to be over here, but that's not important right now. Um, and now just for like a really rough body shape, you kind of draw like this bell type shape. Um, kind of like this. It's kind of like, um, not like, a, like a bell almost, but um, it'll curve in and around like this. So it's kind of like a bean or a curvy type shape. It's hard to describe. It's kind of like a blob. But you get a shape like this. This will be like her stomach area. And then a line going down for her legs. Again, she has pretty thin legs. Um, she's kind of like a plant girl. So I guess it would make sense for her to have like thin, rooty type legs. Um, like that. Like that. And then her shoes, it's basically, you kind of make like um, like a water drop, but going up. So if I were to turn the paper like this, and just draw a drop of water, that's kind of what her foot shape is. I don't know if you could see it, but it's kind of like a water drop, but upside down. So you do the same thing here. Again, kind of like a water drop for her foot and then her arm will just go out here kinda like this she's very knights like knights into dreams where like knights is like flying around so that makes sense so it'll be like this and then just draw a little box for she has like a uh, like a cuff, like a sleeve cuff. So that's what that box is going to be. And we'll draw the hand off of that later. So that's pretty much it for the gesture that we need to get down. Uh, we'll go in more detail as we go on, but we'll do the face first. So I'm going to zoom in. Turn the camera a little bit. Okay, perfect. So for her eyes, um, you kind of start, I start about here. And then they just go up and down like this so you curve the line going up curve it down and then it's kind of like a straight line on the bottom 
that just goes around there that connects this one and this one and same thing over here but this eye is gonna, gonna is gonna go to like the edge of the face like that again they seem a little small that's okay we'll, we'll fix that in a bit and we'll just go into the eyes okay and then um because Cosmo's a girl she has like long eyelashes so you're gonna start about here and just kind of follow the shape you made but make it much wider like this so you're gonna follow a little curve you made and then you're gonna just draw like a little like a long spike coming out like this and then same thing over here just follow the shape you made this one's gonna get a little cut off because again it's on the side of the head but it will still have the big spike that comes out Again, it makes it look a lot more feminine and makes her look like a girl. So, um, and then for the eye, you can just draw a, a nice little circle like this. Another little circle. And then a little half circle for the light reflection. Like that. And then another little circle inside the bigger circle. And don't go past the light reflection. And we can actually shade this in. Because again, shading in the eyes makes it look a lot better. Um, I don't know, just leaving them like black, just lined, doesn't look quite right. So just a really quick shade really does make it look better. And really helps you get the picture. Really helps the picture come, come along together. That's basically it. Like that. So we got eyes on a circle, which is basically Cosmo's face. So um, now we can kind of go off of that and again her head is completely round so you're just gonna wanna follow the circle you made. Uh, I give her a little smile just kinda a straight line and then one curving up and then a little like arrow at the bottom. I'll have you want to you can give her like another like a lip line show like her bottom lip. I didn't do that in my original one. And then for her hair, um, it's kind of weird. She has like a, just draw a curve line kind of around here. And they kind of make like these U-type shapes for her hair. And then this one goes off a little bit and then curves around like this. Again, keeping with like the U-type shapes. Um... And then you could just draw kind of like a circle like this that goes around. And then it, this one will go into a spike. It's very similar to um, Amy's haircut or Amy's spikes. Um, if you watch my How to Draw Amy Rose video. Actually, this is up too high now that I'm looking at it. And you, you kind of want to keep it close to the eye. And then this one goes down. And it's kind of like resting on her shoulder, so it kind of curves a little bit. Like that. And we could we could erase this line because it's throwing me off. So it should look like that. And then this side will have just one spike coming off. Like that. And then she, I don't think she has ears, but she has like these flower things on the top of her head where like ears should be for like a Sonic character. So to draw that, you basically just draw like this little triangle type shape. And then we one over here too. That looks like she has cat ears right now. But then it has like a yellow band that goes around. Um, this one will be a little bit lower. And then it's like a flower, so what I did was just kind of split it in the middle, kind of make like a V type shape, connect it to the little gold band, and then just draw like a little circle, like a squiggly circle on top of here, and then just draw kind of lines curving from like the middle, going into like the middle of the V. It's kind of hard to explain, but it makes it look like a flower, like a flower is like budding out of there like a rose or something. And again, a V, then like a little blob, and then just curve the lines into um, the middle. 
and it makes it look like a kind of like a rose type flower thing. Okay, that's done. Now let's move on to Cosmos' um, body area. Um, actually, let's move on to her hand first because that's pretty simple to draw. For her hand, um, we're going to do like kind of like the standard one. If you watch my other hydro videos, I, I kind of explain this better. But you basically start off with like a curve like this. So it goes out and then curves in. And then we get at the end of the point. You're going to curve, this is going to be the thumb, so you're going to curve it in or around, and then you're going to curve it straight out like this. And again, this might take a couple times, especially if this is the first time drawing this hand, but um, you basically just want to get like this kind of like really stretched out S curve, and then just curve it around and up. And then you just draw a straight line going down, and you start about here. Draw another line. This is going to be like her middle finger. So the middle fingers are usually longer. And then this line goes up and around. And then this one is the pinky. And they progressively get shorter as they go down. So this one, this finger will be the same size as this one. And then the pinky is going to be the smallest. And there, you kind of get it like her hands like open. You know. And it's really simple, easy to draw. Uh, it might take a, a couple tries, especially if it's your first time, but it's really not that hard. Just practice makes perfect. And now we're going to just detail her like cup link, her uh, sleeve cuff a little bit more. Um, make the line go around like here. Again, there's not much detail to it, so don't worry about it. Then draw her shoulder with her hand going, or with her arm going into the cuff. And you could curve it about here, and then her arm going into the cuff. There you go. Since we got that down, we could draw her body, which I'll start about here. And then she's kind of wearing like a like her. She's wearing like a shirt with like a flower skirt underneath, and but she has like this um, like jewel. That's uh like right smack dab like in the middle of her stomach. So you just draw kind of like an oval shape like this. And then a half circle with like another half circle on it. So you kind of get like a bubble type shape. I'm gonna erase some of these guidelines so it looks clearer. And then just like a little rectangle type shape here, just to show like it's glowing and sparkling, you know. But once you have that um, jewel down, you it goes straight into like the end of the shirt so you're just gonna curve a line down and around and then another one down and around like this and then this you can kinda curve the shirt cause our like backs bent so this one will have a little curved and then just go straight into her arm right there and you get little curves here so you get one and then two. And now for her skirt, it's actually really simple. You just kind of go down like this and then get to like a spike and then just curve it back up. They kind of look like big like palm tree leaves almost but without just the shape. And the same thing over here, just down and then there's this little spike. Same thing over here, just down, spike. So basically just draw spikes coming out from our shirt, which I'm going to erase some of these guidelines so it comes in a little bit clearer. Like that. And then she has like little green highlights on it, which you just kind of make little like V type shapes on the edges of them. And now her, her um, feet are basically done. They're very similar to like the gesture, so we're just actually going to follow the gesture line. Like that. And then again, her feet are very, you can kind of round off the tip. It doesn't have to be that spiky. So we'll do that. We'll round it off. And then just kind of follow the shape that you made for a shoe, and that's basically it. 
So it should look like that. And same thing over here, just go down. Uh, I will kind of round it off so it's not as spiky. And then, there you go. Again, very simple. Her shoes are very, very simple. And now we just have to finish off with her other hand. There we go. Oh, yeah, and her other hand, very similar to this one. We're going to draw it kind of the same way. But her hand will be, her arm goes like this. It'll be about here. So we're going to draw the coupling first, which is just like this rectangle type shape. Like that. And then kind of similar to this one, but a little bit different, is we're going to curve up. And then go straight up like this. We get good enough distance. Because this is going to be your index finger. And then I'll go down and around. Kind of like this. So you kind of want like a really like wide open line. So big curve. And then curve it in and around. And that'll be your thumb. And then this finger will go off of here. And curve in. And then the next one will be right here following it. And then the next one. And that hand is super big compared to her, but I think you get it. If you make it smaller, it'll come out better. But, uh, yeah, that's pretty much it. Okay, guys, uh, that's basically how you draw Cosmo the Cedron. I hope I'm pronouncing that right. It's like seed and then drain. Uh, so I, combining the words, is probably like pronounced Cedron. So hopefully I'm getting that right. But, um, yeah. That's about it, guys. I don't think I'm forgetting any details. Nope. And if you want, like, a, a more cleaner, inked version of the final product, it... Come on. It'll look something like this. So, you get the side-by-side -side comparisons. Um, and I'm zoomed out. Yep. So, again, this is a more, uh, cleaned version. Again, if you were to take, um, where'd my ink pen go? Or take like an ink pen, like a flare, right here, like a flare, uh, and just go over the outlines and erase the guidelines. It should look a lot cleaner. So, um, yeah, that's pretty much it, guys. I hope you enjoyed. I hope you can draw a Cosmo now. Uh, and thanks again to Brave Girl 3311 AJ. Um, thanks for your request. It was super fun to do. And I hope you enjoyed it and hope you can draw a Cosmo now. Okay, guys, uh, just the end announcements. Um, if you have any comments, questions, or concerns, please feel free to leave it in the comment section below. Hopefully, I can help you out. Like, if you're having trouble drawing something, hopefully I can help you out in the comments. But um, I'll do my best with that. And if you have any requests, feel free to leave that in the comments below. I will mark your name and um, your request and put it on my list. And... Um, yeah, and I'll get to it whenever I make my head draw videos over the weekend. So, yeah. And I have a DeviantArt page if you're interested in looking at that. Um, I'll put the link in the description below. I keep forgetting to do that for my head draw videos. But I do have a DeviantArt page. I'll put that in the link in my description below. Um, I'm open, still open for commissions. If you guys are interested, I have a video explaining that. It's on my channel. Uh, so if you're interested in me drawing you a commission, that's there. Uh, and that's pretty much it. Alright guys, uh, anyway, thank you very much for watching. I hope you enjoyed it, and I will see you guys some other time. Later. Bye-bye.